Hey everyone, um, let's move on to question three now. So question three, remember also to start this on a new page, right? Um, but question three is where we move more into like the volume and area questions, right? So there's a lot of sort of uh, moving pieces here and we have to be very specific about our units, right? Because this is where units become very important because they indicate different things, okay? So African Concrete Blocks is a company that manufactures square concrete blocks, okay? The diagram below shows the six steel molds that they use to make the square concrete blocks. So we see the six here, we see that it's 50 centimeters by 80 millimeters. It's important to note that these millimeters and centimeters are not the same, right? So we know that we're going to have to do some conversion between those different metrics, right? Okay, so it says, use a diagram above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, so let's just firstly write question three, 3.1.1, okay. So it says, explain the meaning of volume, right? So volume, right, is basically the amount of water or the amount of liquid or solid, the amount of something that we can put into a specific shape, right? So it's like saying, if I had a jug of water, how much water could I pour into there, right? So let's basically, let's write a definition, right? So the one that I would use is, it is the amount, so volume, so I'd write here, volume, it's the amount of solids or liquids, right, that an object can hold, okay? So it's basically saying, if I had a jug of water, how much water could I pour into this? Specific shape, right? It's important to also note at this point the difference between area, well, perimeter, area, and volume, right? So the way I always explain it to my students is I say, okay, let's say we have a swimming pool, right? If I say to you, what is the perimeter of the swimming pool? I'm saying to you, what is the distance for you to walk around that swimming pool and get back to where you started? That is the perimeter or the circumference, different words, same, same concept, right? Secondly, then you have area, right? Area is saying, okay, for this pool that I have, what is the amount of material I would need to put a net over the pool, right? A net over the pool. How much? What would be the area of material or the area of net that I would need to put over the pool? That's the area, right? Volume is saying, how much water do I need to put into the pool, right? And those are the three different types of measurements that we often get asked about in these questions. Okay, so just bear that in mind. We would have got all our... Um, uh, all our marks for this answer, but I just want you to also note the difference between these different forms of measurement, right? Cool. Um, so also an important thing with volume, right, is it's always measured in units cubed, right? Units to the three. Now you might be thinking, okay, I, I always hear my teacher harping on around like squared and for area and cubed for volume and why is that right so the reason is is that area takes two dimensions into consideration right it takes length and it takes breadth right whereas volume takes three dimensions into consideration right so i always do this with my fingers right so you have length times breadth times width right so you actually have three different dimensions and that's why it's units to the three with area you only have two so it's units to the two right? It basically indicates how many different dimensions you are using as part of your calculation. Okay, cool. So that's that, right? Now let's just quickly do this next question. So 3.1.2 says calculators in, calculate, not calculators, what am I saying, yeah? Calculate in meters cubed, right? Meters cubed. That's important because we know that we're only given our measurements in centimeters and millimeters, right? So we're going to have to convert those into meters, Okay, then it says the volume of one concrete block, right? So it's only one. So it doesn't want all six of these. It just wants one, right? Um, you may use the following formula. Now, you might be thinking, well, in this formula, it says side times side times height. And then you might be thinking, well, they've only given us one side. But that's where it's very important to read the question carefully, right? Because the question actually says square, doesn't it, right? So we know that this side right, is the same length 
as that side, so it's also 50 centimeters, right? So we have all th both of our sides, and then we have the height. Okay, but it wants it in meters squared, meters cubed, sorry, meters cubed, because we're doing volume, three dimensions, okay? So let's convert each of these three into meters. So let's do the 50 centimeters first. Oh, sorry. So 50 centimeters. So we know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. So to get 50 centimeters into meters, we're going to say 50 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.5 meters, right? So now we have the length of the two sides. Easy. Remember what I said with the centimeters and meters? When you're going from centimeters to meters, you expect the actual number to decrease. So it went from 50 to 0 0.5 because meters is a bigger measurement. Okay, so we've done that. Then let's convert 80 millimeters into meters. There we put it into meters, there we put it into meters. So we know that 10 millimeters, right, equals one centimeter. And we know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert it into centimeters first. And then we can convert it into meters. It's just a little bit easier. So we're going to say 80 divided by 10 gives us 8 centimeters, right? And that's where, so now we've gone from millimeters to centimeters. Now we want to go from centimeters to meters. So we say 8 centimeters over 100 which gives us 0 0.08 meters, okay? Now we have everything in meters. It's really easy. We can just plug it into that formula that they gave us, right? They've given us the formula here. That's important. Side times side times height. So it's going to be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.08. You can put that in your calculator, and I think that's going to give us like 0 0.02 or something like that, but let's just check. Put that into your calculator. Perfect. So it's 0 0.02 watt meters cubed. You will lose a mark if you do not put in your measurements. You can't just say 0 0.02. 0 0.02 watt, right? It's important that we put in our metrics. Okay, and that is our final answer. Cool. That's the end of this video. Let's move on to 3.2.